So we're talking about this piano. I've suffered through three full piano covers on this and now we got to 100 subs. I think I can tell you more about this piano. First of all, it's actually very tough to turn it on and requires some real strength. Like almost my nail just breaks off when I do that. I can tell this was designed to only be used by real men. Same goes for the keys, it's quite hard to activate the buttons and you really gotta button them out to actually get them to activate. It's fully made out of pretty cheap plastic as you can tell by how it bends when pressing the keys. The sound that comes out of it is horrendous at best. They somehow made a digital piano out of tune. Honestly impressive. When cranking it up to full volume, which is laughably quiet, the speaker inside actually clips occasionally, making the sound even worse. A bigger problem is the terrible three note polyphony, meaning only three different notes can be heard at the same time, which causes problems with playing in non-slow motion, also called motion. And you can kind of hear the weirdiness there. And playing with two hands at the same time, which you by the way should just forget about with the amount of keys on this piano. Of course, all these things are just minor drawbacks compared to the things it offers, such as the drip and the wide variety of instruments. Just sit back and listen to these beautiful sounds. Like, how is that a guitar? It also has this feature to bully you back into practicing as it starts to snore after leaving it alone for a while. If you want to shut it up, you gotta practice. I've really bonded with this piano over the past few weeks of using it, but rules are rules. We hit the next subscriber milestone, so an upgrade is coming. You can see the new piano reveal right about here on the screen when I post it.